Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Eager, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys one of the most broken glitches right now in Black Ops 6. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are enjoying today's content. But as you can see on screen, this glitch is insanely broken, and we're going to be able to get Nebula done on multiple different guns insanely fast. Now, don't worry, we're going to be telling you guys everything you need to know in today's video. But if you're looking for a Discord to join for you guys to have other players to do this glitch with, or to stay updated on the newest and latest guides for some of the best zombie glitches and multiplayer glitches in Call of Duty, be sure to hit that Discord link in description and join the Discord today. We have over 8,000 active members, and I'd love to have you guys a part of our community. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in today's video. Now, you can do this glitch with up to three different players, but you will need one player to actually leave the game. So technically, if you wanted to, you can do it with yourself and one other person and have the other person leave the game. Or if you have multiple systems, you could technically do this while split screen. You could have yourself and another console playing and have that other console leave the game, allowing you to technically quote unquote do this solo. So this is where the fun begins. As you can see, we are currently playing on Terminus and as of now, this is the only map that it will be working for unless we find a workaround for Liberty Falls. Now, all you need to do on Terminus is play on the directed mode and once you get to that round cap 14 or where you need to enter into the boat that is located outside of the map to pick up one of the devices, you're gonna go and do this just like normal, but instead you are only going to send one person in. As you can see on screen right now, we are currently in the boat making our way over to the shipwreck. Now we are gonna drive in just like normal, like we were to do any normal Easter egg, but you can see right here, we're gonna have our friend go in or the person that plans on leaving the game and allowing everybody else to get the zombies. As you can see, the other player is climbing in and as soon as they climb in, the door will shut. They will pick up the device up top and then drop the device up top. So they'll pick it up and then drop it again and then stay alive and kind of train the zombies around for a second. As soon as they feel like they need to go down or maybe the zombies go too fast, all they do is go down from the zombies. They don't use a grenade. They don't use any way to down themselves. They need to be downed by the zombies while they're up there in that room. Then all you need to do or you and the other players need to make their way over to Crab Island. This is the island located right next to the shipwreck. Then from here, you will need to wait exactly three and a half minutes to four minutes before the glitch will technically start. You need the other player or the player that got down inside the shipwreck room to stay there and fully let themselves go. As you can see, they are still knocked inside the shipwreck room. They haven't left the game at all or anything like that. They need to stay here the entirety of the time and wait this part out. As you can see, they are currently down and they cannot respawn. But now we're going to sit here and wait for the zombies to spawn in and start this glitch. I'm going to say this one more time. The player who is doing and being a part of the glitch that's going to be backing out does not back out until the zombies start spawning. One eternity later. The following Thursday. Now, once you have waited the three and a half to four minutes, you will notice on screen that this will appear. Now, all of the zombies will actually start to spawn in, but as you can tell, they are spawning in and then technically disappearing. What this is doing is basically going to be spawning in infinite zombies over and over again, allowing you to easily get these critical hits done without having to do anything at all. You see all of the zombies in front of me spawning in, and don't worry, we're going to show you guys multiple different areas you can farm this with, especially if you have more than one player in game. Now from this stage, your other player is good to leave the game. So as you can see, Winded is technically good to leave the match, but he wanted to stay in and spectate and kind of just see what goes on. So technically now is the time for the other player or the player that initiated this glitch for you and your team or just yourself to leave the game. Once the zombies spawn in, the player is now good to leave. Now we are good to easily farm our criticals, but before we go any further in today's video, I want you guys to know if you do start with a bug round, you do not want to carry forward with this glitch. What I mean by that is if you have any of those bugs that spawn in for the typical max ammo slash bug round, or they think they're called the vermits, you need to wait an additional round for those to disappear. If you don't do that, you'll basically be throwing away an easy bug to do to rinse and repeat over and over again. So like I said, if you do have a bug round or a max ammo round, make sure you guys do play that out just so that way you don't have to worry about having those mess up the glitch. Now, as you can see on screen, we are currently getting closer and closer to the zombies and nothing's happening at all. They are constantly going to be spawning in over and over again with no issues at all. But if you have multiple people doing this at the same time, this can be very tedious or annoying because technically we're only getting three zombies to spawn in at each time. So now from here, you are actually able to move your boat or leave this crab island and rotate wherever you wish or think that the 
glitch will be easier or work better for you. For instance, if you're going to be doing this with two to three players, I highly recommend doing it over here by the docks because you're gonna have multiple locations, as you can see on screen, of them spawning in. We're gonna have some of them spawn in right in front of me. Two different sets that you can see right here. We have one to our left and one to our right, but we will also have an entire set right behind us from there. But now we're going to take you guys to actually where the goaded spot is. I do want to give credit where the credit is due. I will have the founders linked in the description down below. So make sure you guys do check them out. Tell them thank you. But all we're going to do is make our way back to the, technically where we were building the wonder weapon. From here, this is where the glitch really shines and makes it 10 times easier. As you can see on screen right now, we have one of the windows constantly spawning and the zombies over and over again. And let me tell you, this is insane. Being able to just sit here and farm and farm with no problem at all. And look at them spawn behind us. This is even crazier. We can just sit here nonstop automatically getting some free head if you know what i mean and non-stop camo grinding if you guys don't have any of your nebula taken care of yet i would definitely get on to doing this look at the non-stop xp we're going to be getting from either camos levels we get reticles and xp from unlocking more of those we can get our overall xp leveled up and on top of that you guys can be popping your boosters from double xp double weapon xp double battle pass xp and so much more i mean this thing is insanely crazy to do now let's talk about some stuff that you cannot do when in this glitch first of all you cannot get any nuke power-ups due to the fact that you will actually take out all of these zombies in the shipwreck Another thing you cannot do is use the gobble gum anywhere but here. If you do that, it does have the chance of spawning you into the shipwreck, which will technically reset and redo this glitch all over again. And with that being said, make sure you don't make your way back to the shipwreck either, because that will actually stop the glitch entirely now if you wanted to progress and keep doing this glitch over and over again or just complete the game entirely after you get every gun maxed out with everything that you wish you can just go back and rinse and repeat this all over again allowing you to go back into the, sh the shipwreck and do this once again now also you will not be able to get any scrap while you are doing this due to the fact of all the zombies technically not being near you at all and they are technically bugged out in game so make sure you take care of all of your scrap needs, any of your self reses and stuff like that before jumping into doing this glitch. Now remember, 14 is the cap for this, so you cannot technically invite anybody once you are in the glitch because they will technically never spawn back in. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Hopefully this was informative enough for you guys to easily be able to knock out those Nebula camos, max prestige, getting so much stuff done, those weapon levels and so much more. But as always, I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, love you guys. Peace.